let's add here as well the OJ input number. I will just duplicate the code and change the tag name. And that will be input number value. If you recall, we will not see this tag because we are not loading the, the OJ input number module. So the browser, again, does not know what is the OJ input number tag. We need to load that here. I need to go see because I don't know. I don't remember. So OJ input number. Let's go to overview. And then demo OJ input number. We need to add it here. We don't want to store its value, it's just to load the, the tag. So it can be here or before. It's a little bit random in a random order. Only the ones we need to store will need to have uh, the, the, the correct order here and here. So right now, we should have the two something went wrong what was it so let me see the console i have some oh i'm <laughs> sorry my bad i'm using a string inside it so let's put a zero and yeah that's the input number Well, for now, let's imagine we want a form where the first one will be the, the person's name. So input name and it will be input name value. The second one will be input age, input age value. If you want to have a, um, a clean um, input, we need to specify a, or an empty string or null or even not giving anything to the observable. I really like to give null as input. Let's see if everything is still OK. Apparently not. Let me refresh. Input value is not defined. So I am still I I forgot to save the file. So I have two empty values without no label on it. We can add a label. If you look for the forms, let's go input text, no label binding. If you see here, we can see the color label that is given by the label int. Let's use this. For now, we are using strings, declared strings on HTML. Later, we will uh, see how to use translations in our uh, Oracle Jet app. So now we have name and age. And you can change the text, press tab and try to put some some letters and if you click uh, outside it has some basic validations as it is an oj input number only supports numbers not uh, letters you can see i'm i'm still using the read and write variable and displaying its value here as you can see our form is a little bit strange. It's layout, how it's displaying inside the page is not good. An OJ component, that is the OJ form layout that automatically calculates the best number of columns and the best sizes to each input based on some attributes you can use. 
So let's see how to use the OJ form layout. You can look inside the forms for form layout and see the overview. This is an example how you can divide your inputs. If you go to the HTML tab, we can see the declaration. Let's copy that. So it will wrap all our inputs. For now, the direction is row, so every time you press the tab key, it will go to your right. And if you change to column, it will go down in the column. We are stating the maximum number of columns. If you are in a mobile browser, it will display everything in one column. As soon as it has some more space, it will show more columns until reaching the maximum number of columns in this case it's it's four if i save it will not be there and we need to load the component by the way let's also use this compact property to stick with cookbook examples to load it we need to find the oj form layouts module mod right here so the oj form layout we need to include again it's not a specific position if you go to the page you can see we have two inputs and i am trying to i'm saying that i want at most four columns so as i only have two inputs it will um, reduce the size and will also distribute with four columns but we only give it two inputs of course you can have different layouts we are just adding some examples here we can duplicate and have the last name And now we will see three uh, inputs and we will have the fourth column space. If we go to the mobile mode, we will see that as it does not have enough space to have four columns, we'll display in one. As soon as we uh, have some more space, it will rearrange all the inputs. I can also reduce this to two columns. If you want to see the layout until the end of the page, we need to add a class to it. You can see that inside the API documentation, you have some more specific description about each type of component. Here, this class in the Redwood team that is the one that is being used will display the the form layout as a, a max width so let's have the class and we will see it until the end not in the middle if we, if we can change to three and have everyone in the same row if you have two columns and start here and press for example tab it will go to the last name as we are using the column direction if you change to row it will go name and then go to the last name and then as it will not have more um, inputs in the same row it will change to another row i like to use columns so let that be column now let's add a full name input text that will be disabled and inside there will be displayed the concatenation of the name and last name inputs we can also rename this to use first name let's change that 
let's make overall refactoring so i want it to be first name value and it will be changed in every place i am using it input first name and now the label will be first name first name lastly we can duplicate this have the full name full name and we need to declare this variable for now it will be empty so we can see something in your app let's change now to have three columns three three columns there so if i add another one let's say wait wait it will be an empty value and as you can see we are using the direction column so the first will be this one the second will be this one the third will be the full name so we need to reorder how we declare the html so we can have the full name here the last name here and first name where it is we need to we need to switch the weight with the full name weight with the full name and now the last name will be there let's let's see yeah first name last name full name weight and h if i change it here and i remove that it will try to adjust all the columns evenly so we need to have more again we are using the form layout without giving it more attributes that can configure how we want to lay out we are using just as simply the max columns as three let's undo at h 